in this video we are going to discuss about product quantization error. The error which occurs due to the quantization of the output of the multiplier is known as product quantization error. In fixed point arithmetic, when two B bit numbers are multiplied, the product is two B bit strong. This product must be rounded to B bits in all DSP applications which produce an error known as product quantization error or round up round off noise. The output of the finite word length multiplier is given by y of n is equal to a into x of n plus e of n where a x of n is the product which is 2 bit bit long. e of n is the error resulting from the rounding the product of b bits. The fixed point finite word length multiplier can be modeled as so here I can term a into x of n plus b e of n. So in order to model the effects of rounding due to multiplication in digital filter the following assumptions must be made for any n e of n is uniformly distributed over the range minus q by 2 and q by 2 this implies that mean value of en is 0 and its variance is 2 power minus 2b divided by 12 and e of n is a stationary white noise sequence and e of n is uncorrelated with x of n thus each noise source is modeled as a discrete stationary white random process with a power density spectrum of 2 power minus 2b divided by 12. Now, the product quantization noise can be considered as a random process with uniform probability density function and the mean is 0. The average power or variance is given by tau e square is equal to 2 power minus 2b divided by 12. The block diagram of a single core IER system represents by the following difference equation. Y of n is equal to A into Y of n minus 1 plus X of n. So here Y of n minus 1 into A plus this uh, error term that is a quantization noise model for the first order system. Here, the final question multiplier has been replaced by an ideal multiplier and additional round of noise. Yeah. So, next step. Here, this is a block diagram for quantization noise model for second order system with 5 noises e not n e of 1 n e of 2 n e of 3 n and e of 4 n here the all noises noise sources are added at the same point in the filter and all these sources are replaced by a single noise source so here e1 e of n can be obtained from addition of all this five noises with the zero mean and the variance tau square is equal to five into two power minus two b divided by four. So 
in the, in the quantization of noise model for the second order system with the single noises, so all these five noise sources are combined to form E of M. Next, the second order filter can be realized as a cascade of two first order systems. So let us consider the transfer function h of z is equal to h1 of z into h2 of z where h2 of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus a to z power minus 1 and h1 of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus a1 z power minus 1. Here we have to find the output round of noise power. So, round of noise model for the noise source E of 1 is a in H1 of is a given by H1 of is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus A1 is a power minus 1 into 1 divided by 1 minus A2 is a power minus 1 where yeah. H1 of Z is defined as a noise transfer function that is the transfer function from the noise source to the output. So now in order to find the steady state noise color how square is equal to how E square into I1 where I1 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi j close integral of h1 of z into h1 of z power minus 1 z power minus 1 d of z. So I am going to substitute the value of h1 of z here and for z I am going to substitute z here. So value becomes this into z power minus 1 d of z. Now, I am going to equate the denominator is equal to 0. So, if I equate the denominator equal to 0, I will get 4 values of z. So, now, z is equal to a1 and z is equal to a2. This lies inside the same section. And z is equal to 1 divided by a1 and z is equal to 1 divided by a2 lies outside the same section. So, if I apply the Cauchy residue theorem I will get for z is equal to a1 so I am going to substitute for z value I will get substitute a1 and I have to multiply the term z power minus z into minus a1 and for the next term I have to substitute z is equal to a2 and I have to multiply z minus a2 so, I am multiplying and substituting this value. These two terms get cancelled out and z and z get cancelled out. And here also z and z get cancelled out and z minus a2 and z minus a2 get cancelled out. So, I am going to substitute z value is equal to here and here. So, the equation becomes like this. So, to find the value of I2, E2, E2 of Z in H2 of Z, the value of I2 is given as I2 is equal to 1 divided by 2 by J, which integral of H2 of Z, Z power minus 1, H2 of Z power minus 1, D of Z. So, H2 of Z is given the power 1, I am going to substitute that value, and the power Z power minus 1, H2 of uh, z power minus 1 equals 1 divided by 1 minus a2 to z of z. So if I equate this denominator, I will get two values of z. One is z is equal to a2, which is lies inside the unit circle, and z is equal to 1 divided by a2, which lies outside the circle. So I will have to consider only the values of z, which is lies inside the unit circle. So I am going to take z is equal to a2. And I am going to multiply z minus a2 term here 
and I have to pursue uh, the value of digital is equal to a and get digital than digital get cancel out so my final equation becomes i2 is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus a2 square so the total steady state noise variance due to the uh, noise source is equal to tau e square i1 plus tau e square i2 so now I am going to substitute the value of i1 and i2 here and I am going to take the common term that is 1 divided by a1 minus a2 into 1 divided by 1 minus a1 into a2 common so I will get a1 divided by 1 minus a1 square minus a2 by 1 minus a2 square plus 1 divided by 1 minus a2 square so now I am going to cross multiply a1 into 1 minus a2 minus a2 into 1 minus a1 square. So if I do like this, I will get tau e square into 1 minus 1 divided by a1 minus a2 into 1 divided by 1 minus a1 a2 and this term plus 1 divided by 1 minus a2 square. So here if you see, I, I multiply this one a1 into 1, I get a1 and a1 into a1 uh, into a2, I get a1 square a2 uh, minus a2 minus a2 square a1. So now uh, these two terms they cancelled out, that is a1 square and the a1 a1 minus a2 and the a1 minus a2 they cancel out. So the final equation becomes uh, tau e square is equal tau e square into 1 plus a1 a2 by 1 minus a1 square into 1 minus a2 square into 1 minus a1 a2 plus 1 divided by a2 square. So if I consider a1 is equal to 0.5 and a2 is equal to 0.6. Now, substituting this equation, I will get tau naught square is equal to tau e square into 5.2. So, we know that tau e square is equal to uh, 2 power minus 2 e divided by 4. So, if the value of this is given as 3, and you can substitute uh, the value instead of e, I will to substitute 3. And can obtain the value of tau naught square. So, thank you, Anandar, for your patient listening. Thank you all.